So today I'm going to be showing you how to reset the throttle body on a Mark IV VW Polo. So firstly, why might you want to do this? Now, if you've had the throttle body off or if you've had some engine lights, we had an engine light saying that the EGR valve was um, clogged up. So we took the throttle body off and it was all full of carbon. Uh, all the I think it was losing vacuum somehow. So we cleaned it all out put the throttle body back on and then what happened was because we had completely moved the throttle body when you started the car and let it let it run it would start doing this it would not idle properly because uh, it was letting too much air into the into the engine so it would just start going ooh, 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 and then cut out so so just a couple of things to note if you're going to be doing this. Uh, you want to make sure that the battery voltage is at least 11.5 volts. You want to make sure that the coolant temperature as well is between 5 degrees and 95. So if it's you know cold, really cold morning, let the maybe let the car warm up a bit, turn the engine off, then start the process. If you look online, there'll be forums that say you can turn the key on, put your foot on the brake, wait 10 seconds, turn it off, turn it on, open the door, open the bonnet, shut the door, do a dance, do a chicken dance. There's no way of aligning it properly with the ECU without using the software. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Okay, so we've got the laptop on now and we're gonna load up our VCDS software. Now you wanna make sure the engine is off but we want to put the key in. Go ahead and plug your VCDS cable into the OBD2 uh, port underneath the steering wheel. So now you want to set the ignition on, but don't start the engine. So I'm just going to check that it is connected to the car. So I'm going to click test. So I like to change this start view to 9600. I don't know why, but it connects to the car better. Click save. So this engine is a drive-by wire, so it means there's no cable connecting to the throttle. Um, it, it does vary if you have a cable throttle, but um, in this case, you want to click control module. Then option one for engine. So what you got here, these green, um, this green text is showing that your cable is actually connected to the car. Once that's loaded, you want to go into basic settings and up here, you want to go to group 060, click go, and you see that there? That's running it. And if you listen, you can actually hear the throttle body sort of uh, adjusting itself. So you'll hear a high pitch whine, uh, and then the ADP will change to OK, and that means we're done. That's as simple as that. It took 10 seconds and that's it sorted. So we're going to close the software down. We're going to unplug the cable. So we're going to start the car. I'm just going to let it get up to operating temperature. And you should see now that the idle in is a lot smoother and you've got no rough running engine, which is what we had with this one. So. Brilliant. 